TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 12 noon on Monday. And quite a market we have to start off the trading week. Dow Jones up 269 points, trading at 24,985. S&P is positive by 16 points, trading at 2729. And the NASDAQ positive by 35 points, trading at 7388. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of those futures markets. So quite a start to the week. We'll start things off with the NASDAQ 100. There's your opening bell bar. We proceed to trade a bit higher on the open, and then even though most of the markets are dramatically higher, we were higher starting things off Sunday night, and we faded a little bit as this market has begun trading for the week. We traded as high as 69.55 in the NASDAQ 100, and we proceeded to trade down over the course of about two hours to 68.82. You're talking about a 1% decline from those highs we made. From there, we're getting a bit of a bid at 69.02. S&P 500, pretty similar action. Highs of the session, call it 27.39. And we proceeded to trade down about 13 points to 27.25, just at about a half hour ago, currently up from that level, 27.29. Crude oil, quite an acceleration on crude. Check that out. This morning, 8 a.m., we're down there at 71.33. We're now almost a dollar above that level, 72.17 on crude. Quite a number as crude just keeps climbing. Gold contract catching a bid as well. Traded down to a low of 12.81 overnight. We're about $7 above that level, call it 12.8853. And Bitcoin hovering just above 8,400. We start the trading week off at about 8,500 on Bitcoin. Started last week off at about 8,700. We'll see where Bitcoin and the cryptos go this week. Stay tuned, we got our man Basil Chapman coming up right now at the Tiger Technicians Hour. Of course, Steve Rhodes live at one o'clock, Dave White at two o'clock, Tom O'Brien live. Five, three till five. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great day.